Okay, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, coterminal angles. All right, over here on the left, I have a definition. Um, two angles with the same initial side and same terminal side, but possibly different rotations. All right, just depending on um, how you look at this. All right, um, as an example here, just to like visually see this, I have an angle that I have drawn here. All right, if... Um, I were to go counterclockwise around the circle. I've estimated this roughly, say, 240 or whatever. This would be my initial side. This would be my um, terminal side. Starting here, going counterclockwise, I get 240 degrees. All right, now a co-terminal angle could be then the same initial side, same terminal side. But if I chose a different rotation going this way, all right, that would be a negative 120 degrees. All right, so these two angles are an example of co-terminal angles. Now, they don't have to have different rotations. They don't have to be one positive and one negative to be co-terminal. The main thing is here they have the same initial side and the same terminal side. Okay. All right. Now, in a, a scenario where they might ask you um, how to use, you know, coterminal angles here, uh, they might tell you to find a positive angle less than 360 degrees. That is a coterminal angle to the given angle. Okay. This is uh, sometimes a useful skill here. So let's say we've got 450 degrees. All right. Now, it might help to visualize this just a little bit before you just start trying to memorize. Oh, I'm going to do this mathematically or whatever to get the final answer. All right, so let's <clears throat> kind of picture 450 degrees. All right, if I start with my terminal side there on my x-axis, so let's say my initial angle right here. All right, now if I go all the way around, I'm at 360 degrees, but now I've got to go all the way up to 450. All right, well, that's going to be another 90. All right, so 450 degrees is all the way around plus another 90, so that makes the terminal side right there. Okay, that's my 450 degrees, all right? And you can't see it the way it's drawn right there that we went all the way around plus a little bit more, but we went all the way around plus a little bit more there, okay? Now, my thing, my, my directions are telling me find a positive angle less than 360 that is a coterminal angle to the given angle. All right, well, for coterminal, it needs to have the same initial side and same terminal side. All right, so then visually, hopefully you can see that this then is just going to be a 90 degree angle, okay? So the answer is 90 degrees. All right, now, um, we could without, you know, you're not gonna wanna always have to draw a picture every time you do this, all right? You can clearly see it's over 360 degrees. Um, so you can subtract 360 degrees however many times you need to, one time if it's only one time around the circle, twice if it's twice around the circle, um, until you get a positive angle that's less than 360. So on this case, the math here, if I would have just wanted to do the math, 460 minus the three or 450 minus 360 degrees, all right, would leave me then with 90 because it was only one time around the circle plus a little bit more. Okay, um, now here's a negative one. Okay, this time we're going to go clockwise around the circle, and that's okay. Let's uh, visualize this one as well first, and then we'll do the math, just straight math to come up with it. All right, so if I start, starting here on the x-axis, that would be my initial side right there. All right, now, I'm, it's a negative 260. It means I'm going clockwise around the circle. All right, here would be 90, 180. 270. All right, so it's going to be roughly up there somewhere, kind of really close. So let's just kind of guess there. Okay, so this one um, was not all the way around. I started here, 90, 180, rough estimate there. Okay, so there is my negative 260 degrees. All right, so then I need a positive angle, less than 360. That's a coterminal, so it has to have the same initial side and the same uh, terminal side, and it needs to be less than 360 degrees. Well, so this one I can do just the opposite there. All right, we can um, add 360 degrees there. It's going to give us 100 degrees for our angle right there. So the answer is 100 degrees. All right, and here again, if you didn't want to have to continually draw your picture to visualize it or anything, you can take that negative 260 degrees and you can, again, either add or subtract. In this case, we would need to add 360 degrees, all right, and come up with our 100. 
okay but just um, kind of playing around there with a little bit with coterminal angles what they are and how you can visualize them it always helps to draw a picture so that you can visualize what's going on all right but there are some shortcuts that you can just do some adding and subtracting 360 degrees you're going to be able to come up with your answer that way um, thanks for watching